I guess you liked it so much, or you like Korea so much that it kept you here. What What did you do after that one year of volunteering? So, so I mean, there is something with Korea that that attracts that I feel I feel is so attractive. You know, mm. the culture, the people, the way you meet people, the way they meet you, mm. me. You know, like I come from Denmark is very happy at times, but we also have this, you know wall around us that makes us a little bit reserved mm. but suddenly i came and people were asking me like how am i you know what's up you know where are you going where are you going with that basketball and 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 i felt um i felt a connection mm. uh with with the country that i have never had never experienced before i traveled all over the world but korea just caught my attention you know that i just wanted to come back so after having worked at a nursing house mm. Um, for one year, I, I was like, oh, I need to come back. I need to come and experience the people. I need to learn more about the language. Mm. You know, I always grew up thinking that, like, Denmark is great, but Danish... You guys were lied to as children. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, Danish is not spoken by a lot of people, you right. know? Like, I can't speak Danish to you, you understand me. I need to at least learn English, you know, for you to understand me. And then... I, you know, learning Korean was just such an eye opener. So I got mm. to study at KLI, okay. say for mm. uh, for around five months or so. Then I got a scholarship. Suddenly, I got an opportunity to study to become. Um, uh, I wanted to become a um, hospice nurse mm. because I had already studied for two years at the nursing, social and healthcare school in Denmark. Mm. So I wanted to um, study theology for a while, Lutheran, um, to become a priest, not a priest, but like a, a pastor, as you may say, mm. for um, a bachelor. Mm. And then I could use that, you know, to become a hospice nurse. Okay. So let's rewind a little bit. Yes. When you said that you had volunteered in Korea for a year and you yes. went back to Denmark, how long were you back for before deciding you wanted to come to Korea again? Mm, so I was back for around one year. So I came back, uh, I worked at a nursing house for one year. I thought this would be a good thing, you know, working, getting some experience. And, and I worked at night time, so mm. I just absolutely loved it. Okay. And then what feel if you loved it so much, what was your feeling of wanting to come back to Korea? There's just something about the Korean culture that like, it feels like it, it like it catches you. Mm. You just want to come back, you know, the people, the the culture, the food, the history. It's mm. just such a fascinating country. And then Denmark is not like the most exciting country to be in. Okay. So you're saying that we shouldn't visit. Visit, <laughs> but don't live there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but it's just um it's just so exciting in Korea. Everything happens here, you know. Yeah, you know, it's definitely even even in a city like LA where there's still a lot going on, it still doesn't feel as exciting as Korea, you know. So um I I don't blame you. That's why I'm here as well, right? That's why I'm here as well.